yes so you have the right to remain silent or anything you say may be used against you in a court of law if you are familiar with that isn't it if you're not familiar then you're just like this my brother listen to him now yeah i did now yeah i did what's the year we say you are under arrest so uh, you have decided to remain right in the court of law. <laughs> Oh, you police hey. have awesome. I have the siren to remain right. In the, I have the court of law to remain silent in the law. Hey, like, who went to you? Awesome. I have the siren to remain <laughs> court of law. Because you know what I've not seen you. He said he was at the station and all he was hearing was that I have the silent to remain the right or you have the law to remain the silent. If I, he was just confused. Don't be like him. So pay attention to this video. What we discuss with you, 10 important rights you have. As a person who has been arrested by the police or who is about to be arrested by the police this right are conferred to you by the law and we discuss that with you here on make it legal i am gordon selassie dakbo and this is make it legal make it legal remember as always the law provides it by it is discussed on make it legal if you have not had it discussed with you before it because you have not been to Make It Legal channel or you have not watched a video from Make It Legal. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel and like our video and ensure that you share it. Get a friend to know about what we talk about here on Make It Legal. Now let's zoom right into our video. So this is an important video concerning the rights you have. A person who is arrested by the police or who is about to be arrested by the police. Under Ghanaian law, a person who is to be arrested must first of all be arrested by the police or by a private person under certain circumstances so let's take for example a policeman approaches you and wants to arrest you the law requires that at that instance where he approaches you and decides to arrest you for abcd these rights must be observed from the very instant that he says that i want to arrest you the right kicks in he has to ensure that these rights of yours are respected and protected what are these rights i'm sharing 10 of them with you the first one is that you have the right to know the reason for the arrest no police officer has the power to arrest you without letting you know the reason for the arrest so it is your right constitutionally guaranteed that you know why you are to be arrested so if the policeman wants to arrest you the first thing he needs to let you know is the reason for the arrest if he does not tell you the reason for the arrest that arrest is unlawful and it cannot stand as a proper or legal arrest in law take note of that the second one is the right to remain silent the police has to inform you that you have a right to remain silent and that anything you say or any information you give out may or can be used against you in the court of law that means that when they are about to arrest you anything you say can be taken as an admission of an offense or denial of an offense or something that could be documented as evidence against you or as an information they can use in proving the case against you in the court of law for example they could say that when we are about to arrest you you stated that you are sorry you've done the thing they can take that statement and use it against you in the court of law so that is where they must inform you of your right to remain silent you have the right you can choose you'll not enjoy it you can choose that you no know what i will not remain silent i want to speak up I want to be heard so you can talk but it is the right you have to remain silent in fact it is not only when the police are about arresting you even when you are talking with somebody or somebody wants an information from you you can choose to not talk it is a right you have to remain silent because nobody can force this mouth and open it and let information come out of it no only you decide so you have the right to choose not to open the mouth and let information come out or to speak it is your right you have it. right number two right to remain silent right number three is the right to be informed of your rights so the police again has an obligation to let you know what your rights are they must inform you that you have a b c d right when they are about to arrest you if they do not inform you of what your rights are it is also unlawful in other words an arrest of a person who was not informed of his right is an unlawful arrest Right number four is the right to be treated with dignity and respect. The police must treat you humanely when they are about arresting you. They cannot drag you anyhow they desire. Unless you sort of resist the arrest, they are permitted by the law to use some reasonable force to compel you to submit yourself for the arrest. So 
normally they are not entitled to treat you in any harsh or disrespectful manner you've just been alleged or charged or suspected of committing a crime you are not yet a criminal you are not yet a convicted person you are not guilty so they cannot treat you anyhow they cannot molest you they cannot beat you up they cannot manhandle you they cannot hum inhumanly treat you they just cannot do that so what you need to know is that you have a right to be treated with dignity and respect under the law it is inherent to you because you are a human being so once you are a human being just like me you have that constitutional right to be respected and treated with dignity because a human being is a dignified species, a unique kind of person that there are no other beings like us. So we treat each other or one another with respect and with dignity. The police are also mandated. In fact, anyone who is dealing with you has that obligation of law to respect the right you have to be treated with dignity and with respect. Right number five is the right to legal representation. Everybody, no matter their caliber their type their race their character their religion their creed or whatsoever have a right to be represented by a legal person in other words a lawyer can represent you in any situation that involves the police you have a right to it so you need to be told that you have that right to, to speak to a lawyer or to have a lawyer represent you it is your right and they have to inform you before they do the arrest or before you are charged for a particular offense. Right number six is a right to be searched only in the presence of a witness. The police cannot search you without someone else being there as a witness to they searching you. They have the obligation of law to conduct search on you to see whether or not you carry certain things. But they cannot do some of those searches in the private place without anybody else witnessing it. So for example, a policeman, of course, a gentleman, cannot, for example, go searching a lady who he has arrested. No, without any witness being there. It is unlawful. And you have that right to demand that that right of yours is respected and protected by persons who seek to enforce the laws of the country. Right number seven is a right to be taken to a court or to be sent to court promptly. The law says that when you are arrested within 48 hours, whether you are arrested on weekend or on Friday, 48 hours, within 48 hours, the police must take you to court and for the court to either grant you bail or to remand you without a court order, you cannot be kept in the police custody beyond 48 hours. And that is very important. 48 hours is 48 hours any day, any time of the week. Whether you are arrested on a Sunday, Saturday or Friday, within 48 hours after that arrest you are entitled to be sent to court for the court to either grant you bail so you go home and keep coming to the court for the prosecution to be done or you are remanded in custody by the court's order take note it is your right your right to be sent to court within 48 hours after the arrest the eighth right you have is the right to be granted bail of course this right is often subject to you meeting certain conditions and it's subject to the discretion of the judge who is evaluating all the evidence before he or she can grant a bail order so you have the right to it you cannot be kept in custody for long when you are not yet tried and convicted of a particular offense no you have the right to seek to get an order of bail so that you are released and once you meet the conditions of the bill you'll be released and it's a right you have and you can enjoy it as a person living in Ghana whether you are a citizen or non-citizen you have that right guaranteed by the constitution right number nine is a right to seek or be granted medical attention if you need it if you are injured by reason of the arrest or you have been hurt by the police in the course of the arrest and you sustain serious injury you have a right to be sent first of all for medical treatment they cannot go and take you like that to sell and keep you in the police cell with other persons with their blood all over you no they cannot do that they have a right to immediately send you to the nearest hospital so you get treated 
and get well. And after you get well, the Lord takes his course. They get you sent to the custody and the right things are done. And you get prosecuted for whatever offense they have arrested you for. Okay, so we are now talking about the last one now. Right number 10 is the right to contact a family or a friend, a family member or a friend after you arrest. The police have to ensure that they allow you to contact a family member or a friend of yours to be aware of your arrest so that a reasonable arrangement could be made for at least your feeding and your safety while you are in police custody they cannot arrest you and deprive you the opportunity to want to speak to your father or mother or relatives or friend who when they are aware of your arrest will probably come visit you at the cell and make provision for you to eat something and all of that so in a very simple term they should allow you to contact your relatives either by phone call or any other means possible without leaving the police custody of course so that is important so these are the 10 important rights i think you have when you are arrested by the police or when you are about to be arrested by the police and these rights are guaranteed by the constitution of ghana and a lot of laws also provide for this right important among these laws are also international laws and regulations and policies that require that all these rights are protected so long as the police as soon as the police seeks to arrest you or when you are arrested by the police if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and ensure you turn on the notification bell so you get to receive more updates from us when we post our next video and don't forget to like this video and share it with a friend i am godwin selassie dakbo and this is make it legal Make it legal.